This is how to make a master flat field frame with Starry Landscape Stacker, Starry Sky Stacker, or Long Exposure Stacker. I'm using Starry Landscape Stacker for this demonstration. I want to begin by showing you the uh, preferences for the raw file conversion, and that's important in this case because normally I have this option on white balance check, that is use the following values, use these specific values rather than the white balance values from the files. And that's because I use auto white balance all the time and at night uh, that's not the best thing to do. You, I want these specific values. If you uh, use uh, manual white balance, you're going to have this box checked. For this particular case, these aren't night sky shots. They are something else entirely. And so I do want to use the white balance values from the files. So I come in here and check this before making my master flat field frames. Okay, that's done. I have a directory here, a folder with all my uh, flat field frames and some darks that go with the flat field frames. And notice that the orientation is not the same on all of the, these darks. That's okay. Starry Landscape Stacker is going to figure this out for us. I say open. And so that's the white balance values from the first of the flat field frames, and that's fine. Everything else is the way I'd like it to be. So now I tell it to read all 32 images. This is going to take a little bit of time, so we will skip ahead. Okay, we're almost done now. Just the last, there we go. Notice that it's told us that it's fixed the orientation on these uh, dark frames. Well, I could check this box and never see this message again. Uh, for now, I'll just leave it. Say OK. And there's our master flat field frame. And it's asking where we should save this. And in my case, I'm going to push it up one level in the hierarchy and save it here because I'm going to use it in a little bit to illustrate something else. I want to replace the file that's already there. And I'm done. Normally I keep the master flat field frames with the uh, frames that made it and then copy them into the folders with the light frames that go with the master flat field frame. So let me show you how I organize my files. I, we were down in this folder with the flats. And that contains all the flat field frames and all the uh, darks that go with it. And then up here I have a bunch of lights and I have that master flat field frame that we just created. I keep the lights, a copy, typically just a copy of the master flat, and soon there will be a copy of the master dark in here as well. And I also have a mask in here, so I can easily process this set of images by just selecting all of the images in this folder. To review, to make a master flat, one thing you want to do is make sure that you know what's going to happen with your white balance. In this case, I want to be sure to use the white balance from the first raw file. I do that by changing the preferences, and then I just loaded all of the images in this folder where I have my flats and darks. Orientation doesn't matter. The orientation will match the first image in the set, and because of the way I set things up, the white balance will come from the first image in the set.